Welcome to another laruan ni Obi-Wan Kitbash recipe. This time of a Winter Soldier. Okay, so base figure, your highly available Winter Soldier from the Captain America Win and the Winter Soldier um, Disney Plus uh, TV series. So this is going to be the merchandise figure which is really available at all is for $9.99. Okay. So, I wanted to update my Winter Soldier um, action figures. So, this is the first one. So, let's do a quick 360 view of the figure. So, parts that are changed on this action figure is going to be just the... Okay, so it's just going to be the shoes. Yes, I was examining the action figure. What makes it really, really boring and drab? So aside from the lack of bling, it was, it was the um, monotonous color. Um, it's all dark except for the head unit and the hands. So what I did was to provide contrast by one changing the footwear and two adding a belt and adding a shoulder or strap attachment something very simple not covering the whole body but just exposing the right parts because this is a very um, highly articulated action figure you'll be surprised uh, once you um, take it out of the box okay so that is it very simple recipe so this is i think from duke or uh, flint i know that this accessory comes from rock and roll so with the pistol that is from tiger force recondo that shoulder harness is from outback the pockets are from the bandolier of duke weapon is action force valiverse the face mask that comes from matt and junk yard okay so this accessory i think that comes from Jojo classified series edward leiloha torpedo figure um yeah i think so yeah okay so that's it i did i already identified all of the body parts so why not a black shoe but brown um it's to break the contrast between the rest of the body actually to so you you'll have a balance because if it's going to be a black shoe once again it's going to be all dark from the from the waist down so i needed something to break um uh, the color in this area so break color by changing a different colored footwear and adding a holster instead of the same colored holster which is black i opted for a brown and instead of having straps somehow it cheapens the look of the action figure so what i did was just to cut off the straps anyway um, i wanted something this time permanent on the action figure so i just glued the holster onto the thigh of the figure so with the accessory pouches these black ones and by adding these two items it actually adds bulk to the thighs because the other thing that um anatomical structure on this action figure it has it has very thin thighs so yeah the entire leg with that humongous um, dress shoe it looks like well chicken legs <laughs> okay so i needed something to bulk it up now with regards to the uh, belt of um who's this character jejo classified series character that i already mentioned um recondo yeah okay so instead of cutting off the shirt edges i did not do so because i was thinking of cutting this portion 
anyway i was thinking that the combination of the jacket actually is made of dark color so let's just retain that part anyway it still adds to the details of the action figure so this part is not glued the belt is not glued the only glued parts are going to be the pistol holster and the thigh mounted accessory pouch so this thigh mounted accessory pouch it's going to look like it's going to be part of the pants something like a 511 tactical pants <laughs> which has built-in straps um, to tighten this section of the um, pad leg okay so that is action force valiver's weapon so instead of a different colored weapon this time it's just going to be black weapon okay so let's discover articulation points and take a look at the details this time so the mask really works for that head unit so nice articulation points actually so we have a nice bend nice back bend nice waist twist full 360 on the arm cut on the bicep for rotation of the bicep two points of articulation for the elbow and they are non-pinned so with the legs non-pinned at uh, the knees i mean okay so the rotation on the thighs is not going to be up here it's going to be down there so just in case you're going to glue to these two sections just be mindful that place super glue just on the upper part of the thigh mounted accessories so you are not going to lock this articulation point so we have thigh rotation and we still have boot rotation or pant rotation on the on the lower section the shin and actually the gi joe classified series footwear is a good match so as you could see it's not too big not too small actually it is just right okay but our review does not end there because we still have this accessory to put on to complete the winter soldier look okay so anyway it's our toy our way of um, depicting the figures that we like plus this mask actually is in pair with this goggle so with how it is constructed or molded it's going to fit fit really well plus the color of the strap it's going to be a perfect match so to really conceal his identity so we're going to do that and make that strap as close to the strap of the face mask okay so it would look like it's just going to be one piece okay so there you go so that's how the action figure looks like with goggles and face mask and from this angle how does it look okay there you go so from a very plain jane figure a uncool figure something that's resting at the shelves of ollies <laughs> you could pick one and do a mod like this just in case you wish to update your gi joe classified series with a assassin so yeah no other than the best the winter soldier bucky barnes so if you like this review like comment and subscribe to help me grow my channel and see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review